In this video, we will explain the concept of trailing sell. This example assumes that we created a trade with three sell targets, as you can see in the upper left corner of the screen. The first sell target is placed in $120, the second in $160, and the third in $200. In addition, we assume we activated a trailing sell of 10%, which is a bit higher than you would normally use in your actual trading, but will help understand the concept more clearly. Let's start the animation to see how the trailing sell works. As you can see, the price keeps increasing until the first sell target at $120 is reached. At that moment, although the sell target is reached, the coins will not be sold immediately like they would in the case of a regular limit order. Instead, a trailing sell order will be opened 10% below the target price of $120, which comes out to be $108. Now, as the price keeps increasing, the trailing sell order will keep trailing behind the maximum price that is reached with that same $12 difference. Eventually, when the price starts decreasing, the trailing sell order will stay at the same price, which is $12 below the maximum price that is reached, which in this case was $150. When the price finally falls down enough and reaches $138, the actual sell orders will be executed and the coins will be sold. As you can see, in this case the coins were sold at $138, although the original target was $120, and this is due to the fact that the price kept increasing since hitting our original target. Let's proceed to see it in action again. Now the price will decrease a bit more before it starts increasing again and getting closer to our second sell target. Once again, as we hit the second target at $160, the coins will not be sold immediately and instead a trailing sell order will be placed 10% below the target price at $144. As the price keeps increasing, the trailing sell order will keep trailing behind the maximum price that is reached by that same difference of $16. Now, a new sell target is reached while a trailing sell order is already active. When this happens, instead of creating a new trailing sell order, the bot will merge the amount that should have been sold in the target with the existing trailing sell order that is already opened. In that case, the bot will show the new target that is reached as merged in the trade status. Now, as the price continues to increase, the trailing sell order that contains the amount from both the second and third targets will keep trailing $16 below the maximum price that is reached. Just like before, Eventually the price will start decreasing again and at the moment the price falls down to the trailing price, the sell order will be executed. As you can see, in this case the final sell price for both the second and third sell targets will be identical at $215, which is significantly higher than the original target price for both. It's important to note that while in some cases the trailing sell can be very beneficial and can help you squeeze more profit for your sell targets than traditional sell limit orders, this is not always the case. For example, if the price of the coin falls down after reaching your target price and before the price moved high enough such that the trailing price surpasses the target price, it is possible that the final sell price using the trailing sell will be lower than the target price. In other cases though, like in the case of coin pumps, the trailing sell can help you sell the coins at a significantly higher price than expected. Please keep this in mind when considering whether you would like to integrate the trailing sell into your trading strategy. This is it on trailing sell. Hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.